All right, guys. It's Friday. Um, using my old camera. Oh, wife's using the new camera for dance. No big deal. Let's see, it is about. I think it's getting close to three. Got home from work this morning. Took a nap. Uh, got up, went and ran some errands, and then uh, went and had lunch with the wife. And so now I'm out here working. But uh, anyway, so first order of business, or this weekend's order of business, it should say I got, uh, I want to get this notch done, put in. I'm supposed to get some decent weather so I can, uh, I can uh, paint it hopefully next weekend if I can get it done. But uh, just went and got some assorted stuff, a couple plumb bobs. To help me some welding tips that kind of stuff uh, got a sheet of 3 16 plate this is actually at my brother's house I went and snagged it from him so I didn't have to run out to the steel shop so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna make you can see right here oops so I trip over my right there that's where that boxing plate ends I want to go basically that same distance back here so I'm going to extend my boxing plates before I weld those in. That's the first order of business today is to cut those out and burn those in. Get the welder uncovered there and do that. Then uh, we'll move on to getting these fitted properly. Got a long level, but work on getting those uh, fit up properly. And uh, yeah, I got to level this thing a little bit. It's a little off. But I don't have the front on jack stands. Once I put the front on jack stands, that should help. But uh, anyway... That's the order of business today, so I'm gonna quit talking and get to work, and uh, bring you guys, guy, ugh, bring you guys back when I uh, when I have something accomplished. So we'll see you guys here in a little bit, and uh, hopefully I got something done. Hopefully I got some energy. I'm gonna get some coffee or something in me here and uh, get to work. So we'll see you guys soon. All right, got the new boxing plates made. Haven't welded them in yet. Gonna do that next. Um, this one just needs a touch more work right here so it fits snugger up there up top but uh, just a second with the grinder will take care of that so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna burn these in and then uh, it'll be ready to it'll be time to get going on the actual notch kit quick next so anyway I'm gonna do that bring you guys back when I get one more done all right got my uh, video camera back so Got the plates welded in, both sides. Um, I think I must be tired. My welding skills are not there today, so that's it uh, for welding today unless I tack some stuff in. So next step, that's done. I'm gonna smooth out some of them. Then uh, I'm gonna start getting these plates ready to go in. Gotta modify them some just so they fit right. Uh, the fortunate thing is the axle is about right height right now. So we, uh, what's this dude doing? All right, just vehicle I didn't recognize slowing, slowing down, but they're picking somebody up across the street. Uh, anyway, the axle is pretty darn close to right height. Um, if you can see the, the uh, four link, the bars are pretty close to straight which is ideal. Um, my drive shaft angle is is pretty darn close. I have quite a bit of adjustment to get that angle up or down as I need to. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take these four by fours out, or these two by fours out, cut this, uh, this fancy holding device that I have on here, cut that out, raise the frame up, drop it all the way down to the axle, make sure it's still nice and centered, and then uh, go from there. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking get started get moving again and uh, I'll bring you guys back when I got something going all right guys I got a uh, bunch of crap on the floor that almost tripped over and that's what I got um, took my old airbag mounts off and they on the floor I got the truck leveled I took the front tires off wheels and tires off put the front on jack stands those are just some uh, pads because uh, it's all painted up here now. Anyway, I got it leveled to the best of my ability. Um, it's really, really close, about as close as it's probably gonna get, uh, both this way, side to side, and front to back. Um, 
what I did was I crawled underneath it there the frame is straight and level with no kinks or anything on it underneath the truck so I went underneath there and held the level up against it and uh, man, it is close so I don't think I'll be able to get it much closer with the equipment that I have so I think it's good enough the mosquitoes are coming out so yeah, there's one there we go I don't even know if it's showing up on camera I don't know, I think they imported some mosquitoes from Texas or something I don't know what's going on so anyway I wish I had one more set of jack stands but I don't to put the axle on but uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack the axle back up against the frame I'm not gonna lift the frame at all just gonna jack it up against there I'm gonna get some good center lines um, what I've done to get a center line on the axle I did it kind of similar and then I saw a dude on the hokey ass message board do it which you do is you take your caliper um, take your caliper and I gotta take that duct tape off you put it on here you get it nice and snug you put a, a little torpedo level on this end to make sure that it's level and then you can find the center mark which is a two and a half inch axle so I go to inch and three quarters and there's my uh, there's my center point and then what I'll do is I'll take a plumb bob on each side I haven't quite figured out a way to devise uh, some kind of thing to go over this for a plumb bob I think I might be able to use my ladder I just gotta get it out of the backyard um, if not I have some pipe and a couple of chairs I'll run them across here and then I'll be able to hang my plumb bobs on it but anyway so you find the center point of the axle jack it up against the frame uh, I have the center point on those marked already I need to mark the center point on my other set and then what I need to do is get them all set up so I have this side and that side then once all the center points are done I know where those have got to go then I can start adjusting them to make sure they're gonna fit in that location because you know this is almost a 60 year old frame there's some some old dents and dings here and there but uh, I gotta clean up these bottom edges so they match the contour of the frame that's not required but that's what I want to do I want to make sure that it looks good right there because I'm not gonna run the bed wood for this summer probably that probably won't get done till next winter but anyway so that's the plan for the rest of the night I'm gonna get all that stuff measured checked maybe cleaned up and contour matched and everything um, marked so I know exactly where they go and then uh, maybe tomorrow I'll weld them in but uh, that way I can I can set them there let them sit overnight then come back out here and measure again tomorrow and then uh, if it's still perfect then then uh, we'll go ahead and burn them in plus uh, my welding skills just weren't happening tonight uh, I'm tired so I think that's what it is so after I get a good night's sleep tonight um, I think I just saw I lost that <laughs> that level earlier and I just saw it in my screen on my camera so now I know where it is anyway yeah this is kind of how it works sometimes but anyway I'm gonna get to measuring and some marking I'm gonna turn some radio up and then uh, we're gonna get something done and uh, when I weld all this in I'll take the axle out once once I've marked everything where everything needs to be I can take the axle out from underneath it and uh, weld it up I don't need the the axle will be in my way to weld it up so uh, yeah we're gonna get to it so uh, we'll bring you guys back when I got something more alright guys uh, we're getting closer I got my plumb bobs hanging of course I just ran into this one so gotta readjust it but uh, I got them both everything is really really close as of right now got to do a little more dialing in I gotta grind off some welds a little bit because I think that's making this upright on the inside of the frame a little wonky so I got to do that real quick but uh, it's getting close you see it? Yeah, go this way. Yeah, there you go. It is darn close. So the uh, axle is centered in the frame rails. I measured it from the inside here and then from the backing plates over. The, um, see what else did I do? The plumb bobs, everything's pretty much straight up and down. The, uh, as you can see, it's level from side to side. The frame is level from side to side. So 
it's getting uh, it's getting really close so what I got to do now is I got to take them off again grind off those welds real quick put them back on but uh, what I'm gonna do is scratch use a scratch all and give myself a mark so I could get it real close right off the bat next time I put it on there and then uh, we'll go from there so these the way these come it's kind of a universal kit uh, the way they come is these are too wide for it so I gotta cut these down till they fit real nice before I weld them together um, so I'll do that I, don't, I may not end up I may end up doing that tomorrow it's getting I don't know what time it is it's getting kind of late to be making noise in the garage I think I don't know, it's 8 o'clock. It's earlier than I thought. So, anyway, so we're going to grind those welds down real quick, get them set, and then uh, check them again. You know, this is the kind of stuff where you really got to check, you know, a thousand times before you uh, before you actually burn it in and cut them. So, we'll, uh, we'll check them a few more times, and then uh, maybe we could get it tacked tonight. I don't know. Since I gotta cut those those uh, top hats, I I probably won't get them tacked tonight because uh, I may I may run those over to my old man's house and use his plasma cutter tomorrow. We'll see, but uh, I probably won't. I'll probably just throw a grinder or a cutting disc on my grinder and go for it. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna get back to work here, and uh, if I get anything else tonight, I'll show you guys. Otherwise, it's uh, Friday night. I don't know what all the cool kids do on Friday night. This is what I do, but uh, I'll get this done. Uh, I'll load this video up a little bit later, assuming my internet is working, and then uh, should be back out here tomorrow before Katie's game, maybe a little bit after her game. I'm really not sure, but uh, I plan on having this done this weekend. If I get it done this weekend, I'll be happy. It's supposed to be warm next weekend, and uh, I got to go pick up some more primer, but then I can paint this back half of the frame, and it'll be done. I think before I paint it I got to make sure there's nothing else I got to do I may have to this dude this cross member may need a radius in it which if that's the case that's okay we can do that but, uh, all right guys you guys have a good weekend hope you had a good work week and uh, be back out here tomorrow so everybody be good and uh, have a good one